Here we are at our exterior and interior angles notes. We're asked, or we're told, I'm sorry, when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, you have eight different angles that are formed. And we saw that with our corresponding notes as well. Four interior angles are formed on the inside of the parallel lines, whereas you have four exterior angles that are formed on the outside of the parallel lines. And as you can see from this diagram right here, we see our exterior angles. Notice how they're on the outside of those parallel lines. And we have a bunch of different interior angles when sliced by that transversal. Now, as you can see from the second image, we see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, all those different angles. And by the way, that's a very common um, setup right here when you see those angles where they're positioned with those numbers like that. That's pretty common, especially when you're kind of first learning about these it's different angles in geometry. Um, but you, you notice that you have angles three, four, five, and six. Those are our interior angles, whereas one, two, seven, and eight are the exterior angles because they're on the outside of our parallel lines P and Q. Now, with these interior and exterior angles, you could probably see it from the image, but there's a lot of different congruence. And so that's pretty much what these definitions are starting to say. Um, alternate interior angles, they notice how they have uh, they're on the opposite sides of the transversal like that. So we're just talking about alternate interior angles right now. So just the ones on the inside. They will have one and two right there are alternate interior angles, but they'll also be the exact same angle measure. Okay? And that's pretty much what this definition is saying. Likewise, angle three and angle four, those are alternate because they're on the opposite sides of the transversal. but they're on the inside of our two parallel lines. And so those will have the exact same angle measure. This process works identically for alternate exterior angles. So when we notice, we see angles one and angle two, notice how they're on the opposite sides of the transversal, but they're on the outside of our two parallel lines, M and N. And as a result of that, those will have the exact same angle measures. Likewise, three and four are going to be exactly the same. Okay. And so, by the way, to kind of show that congruence, you'll oftentimes see this. Like if I just looked at angle three and four, they'll usually reference it as angle three is not equal to, but it's congruent. That means congruent right there, that symbol. To angle four. And, and that would likewise work for all these other ones. So like angle one is congruent to angle uh, two. So that's pretty much what all of these mean. They're the same. They're the exact same angle measure. So when we look at example one then, we're trying to figure out what is the measure of angle B? Well, usually when I'm teaching this, I always encourage my students to identify what kind they are first. And so when we look at these two angles, we notice that they are on the inside of our two parallel lines. So they're on the interior. And since they're on the opposite sides of this transversal right here, we would call that the alternate. And so that's really where that word alternate comes from. They're on the opposite sides of one another, of that transversal. So right now we're talking about alternate interior angles. So we've identified them. And we know that based upon our definition right here, alternate interior angles are congruent. So angle B then is going to be exactly the same as that 58 degrees. And so we can then say angle B is 58 degrees. When we look at the second one in example one, we see that these are alternate because they're on opposite sides of the transversal. And they're on the exterior this time. So the, notice how they're on the outside of these parallel lines right here. So we have alternate exterior angles. And by definition, alternate exterior angles are also congruent. So in this case, B is going to be exactly the same as that value, 104 degrees. 
But again, though, that is example one from our alternate and exterior angle set of notes.